Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi Battle featuring the same Perugly team that we used yesterday. As always, we will be switching to a new team tomorrow, so make sure you leave suggestions of other Pokemon you'd like me to use down below. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. I'm on my way to 300k. If you do enjoy the content, you know, I upload two to three Pokemon videos. You got Wi-Fi Battle, Shut On Live, Moosehead Video Guides, anything Pokemon really on this channel as well. So if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. Again, my end of the year goal is 300k. We are using... The unofficial universal 6v6 OU code, which is 2022-2021. So if you guys want to find battles, this is the place to go. This is where I've been finding all my games. This is where you'll have a chance to battle me and just other people also playing as well. It doesn't usually take very long. Maybe like a minute or two waiting. Sometimes like, I, I think like at random times, you might have to wait like five minutes. Like maybe when I'm looking at like 4.30 a.m. But even then, I never waited more than like a minute. So I'm just going to wait right here. Put my little battle stuff. And uh, I guess I'll just pause it until someone pops up. We'll be right back. All right, so we found a game versus someone named Victor. This should be a lot of fun. Let's see what they have. Hopefully, we can get Perugly put in some work. Yesterday, it was it was going to be good, and then it got burnt, right? Like, Lee Dazzle was the GOAT yesterday. I might even just put Azov as a thumbnail. I haven't even done anything. They do have a Wobbuffet. Now, in the metagame I play, Wobbuffet is uh, banned because of Shadow Tag, but that's completely fine. This is Wi-Fi. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, it looks like they almost have a rain team, but then they have Infernape, so it's going to be weird. But I do like Perugly because they have no normal resist. That was just a screenshot of their team. We're going to lead Azelf, get up our Stealth Rock, and kind of just go to town in this game with that Pokemon. I think it just puts in a lot of work here. And if I can get rid of Wobbuffet early, we'll be in a good spot. And again, the more I get in Perugly, the easier it is for me to click moves. So there's the Mammal Swine lead. Nice shiny Mammal. Uh, again, spikes are going to be really good in this game too because my opponent does not have hazard control. So I'm going to get up Stealth Rock here. I don't care what they go for. In this situation where they have no hazard control and they have Azu and like Latios gets to come in and click moves, it's going to be really nice to get up hazards. Also, Scarf Braylon is really good here. Like Bullet Seed is amazing. <laughs> Maybe they expect me to taunt. Maybe they switch out to Wobbuffet. I wouldn't mind. Again, I don't mind at all. They do have to go for Stealth Rock. What I want to do is actually keep my Sash if possible and go Fortress now. I can Rapid Spin away their Hazards. They might go for Ice Shard to break my Sash. Uh, we can Rapid Spin away their Hazards immediately. And then I can go for Spikes from there. And just kind of, again, wear them down for that hopefully Perugly beatdown that I'm going for. So I go for Crash. You find out if they're Life Orb or not right after this. That did nothing. I have no idea. Maybe that's lead sash. Even if they encore me or do whatever, I should be good because I'll have uh, I'll have sash as of at the end of the day. So rabbit's been here for sure. Break their sash. They go for earthquake. Not gonna do much. We already know based on the last game we played that fortress is a demon, and we get to break their focus sash as well with the rapid spin. So not only do we get rid of Stealth Rock and keep my Focus Sash intact on my Azza, but we get rid of their stuff, so nice. And now we spike for tonight. We hunt, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I just drop random things that have nothing to do with it, but yeah, we definitely spike up here, for sure. Again, Wobbuffet's gonna be scary, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right, especially if they go hard. I would love if they go hard Wobbuffet right now because, again, this is a game where hazards are going to really make the game, right? So hard at, hard at that play would be great. They do uh, end up going right into Infernape. So nice. Not only do we have Stealth Rock up now, now we have at least one Spike, which I think is awesome. Again, we don't know if they're Choice Scarf or not, but... In terms of my Fire Resist... What I don't want to do is I do not want to go out into my uh, Latios on their U-turn. So what I'd rather do is just go for Spike again. If they Flare Blitz, so be it. If they go for Fire Punch, that's fine. That's completely fine. They knock me out. Should be able to bring out Perugly now and go right for a Choice Ban Retaliate. This should get me, uh, nab me a kill on basically every uh, one Mon on their team. No matter what it is, it shouldn't have me a kill. They do Mach Punch. They're not Life Orb, so they're not going to be able to KO me. And what's an Infernape? What's an Infernape to a Perugly, baby? Get that threat out of here. 
And just like that, the bullet seed resist is gone. What is an Infernape to a Perugly? Perfect. That's actually the Mon that I really wanted to get rid of the most when it came to Perugly. So that's great. I'm assuming maybe they go Wobbuffet to trap me. They could also go out into Jolteon. They end up bringing out Mamoswine. They end up bringing out Mamo. I would rather retaliate them for damage, let them KO me, and then I can bring out another Mon. Yeah, let them Ice Charm me. So here's the play. Now, obviously I know that my opponent has a Wob that I can't really do much versus. <sighs> if I go Brelum, I have to really depend on Latios later. But I can keep my Azov Sash intact, so yeah, I'm going Brelum. I'm going Brelum right now. And I'm just going to click Bullet Seed. I live in Ice Shard. I'm faster than them. Bullet Seeds are guaranteed. Uh, KO, and if they go Wobbuffet and I get 5 hits, I can actually beat it with the next hit too, so I basically want to prevent South Rock so I can keep my ass off there. Yep, that does so much damage, but we're good. We're chilling. Like I said, Mammal Swine should go down. There we go. Mammal Swine goes down. Perfect. So no Stealth Rock, Spike up, and everything, which is nice. Uh, I'm obviously very weak to Jolteon, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm very weak to Jolteon. But also, Spec Psychic is really good too. Kingdra, if it's random Rain Dance, it'll be a little bit scary as well. They do go Jolteon, which is the play, I think. I think Jolteon was the correct play. I like the idea, though, of getting off uh, a little bit of damage off on them. And I wonder if my Madden Zone takes... I wonder if my Madden Zone takes two Shadow Balls. It will be close, but I need you to, so I'm going to go out to them. Just because I can Mock Punch the Jolteon later. And Mock Punch does like 60%, so as long as I get one Flash Cannon off, we're good. They go for Shadow Ball. It'd be best if they were like Life Orb and not Specs. I have no idea what item that is, so we're going to go for knife, uh, right for the Specs Flash Cannon just to do enough to them. They go for Shadow Ball again. Maybe the Scarf. Mm. So, get enough damage on them for a Mach Punch for later. Which I'm okay with. And uh, right now... Do I go you and then they go Azu after? No, I go Breloom and Bullet Punch. I mean, excuse me, Moth Punch. They might go Wobbuffet is the thing, but this is still my play. Yeah, they stayed in. Okay, good. So we get rid of Jolteon. Awesome. You know what? They might not even have Shadow Tag on their Wobbuffet. They 100% have Shadow Tag, but they might not even have Shadow Tag, you know? They might not. Who knows? Azu comes out. I think from this position... I have to mock punch again for Chip. They're gonna belly drum. They aqua jet. Oh my god, this is... This is a little bit annoying, gonna be honest. Just because, that, again, that Wobbuffet being alive is annoying as hell. I think I have to go Azelf here and explode on the Azu, which I hope knocks it out. And then just Psychic to win. That's what I'm going for. Because I, if I get rid of their Fairy type, I'm in a strong spot. Maybe they expect Energy Ball. Uh, if I do enough to Wobbuffet, I could also just Psychic and win naturally. Because I think this is Belly Drum. This is Max Attack Azelf, so this, and this is 250 base power. I feel like Azu is not strong enough to take it. Yep. And then, if I'm not mistaken, after spikes and whatnot, Wobbuffet dies to Draco Meteor. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, they're smart. They go Kingdra first. They're smart. They go Kingdra first. Yeah. 
So unfortunately, I'm gonna lose the Wobbuffet. They never actually use the Shadow Attack, but I had to play in a specific way, which made it annoying. Because <laughs> otherwise, I didn't have to worry about this. I could have bring out King uh, Latios at any given point, gotten a kill, and switched the hell out. So it's a little bit annoying that this is how it's gonna go down. But we'll Draco here. Actually, I have. Uh, I'll live the first Miracle. I'm not mistaken. So I might be able to win off of a crit. Because obviously Draco Meter KOs that. And there's the Wob. Maybe it wasn't even Shadow Tag. But I had to play like it was Shadow Tag. And basically, if you don't know, Shadow Tag means you can't switch. Yeah, I had to play like it was Shadow Tag. I don't even know what their Wob is. It's shiny, that's for sure. <laughs> this female is ready for a date. Look how ready it looks. Alright, well, minus two Draco. Let's see how much this does. Oh, I wasn't even knocking out Wob normally. So, I don't think Miracle knocks me out. And then if I get a crit, I knock them out. So that's what we're going for. Oh my god, never mind. It just said, oh, I don't care. Yeah, that's game. Good game. Uh, again, I had to play. I can never, like, play in a specific... I can never bring out Latios, which got a kill versus everything. Because if I did, Wild Effect just revenge killed me. And then I would lose later to Azelf plus Kingdra. So this is another one of those, like, uh, these are the rules I play by. And then people are bringing banned stuff to 66. But I can't do anything about that, right? I can't stop people from doing Baton Pass. I can't stop people from uh, bringing Legends. I can't stop people from bringing banned months. That's it. I, period. I can't do that. But overall, it was still a fun one. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, make sure you... Uh, Leave a like and subscribe, of course. And, you know, I kind of want another game because I, I didn't really get to use my mod. Because Wall Offense, I didn't get to use my damn Perugly. I'm going for another game. You know what? I'm going for another game. Forget this. Perugly will not go out this way. We're going to get another one. And we're not going to fight a Wall Effect. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm excited about the one, this one because they have Arcanine. Which means that uh, they have Intimidate. Which means that Perugly gets a Defiant boost. They have a lot of threats. Honchkrow 6 owes me, <laughs> so that'd be fun to play around. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Overall, I have a great lead in Azelf. They end up leading off a Hector, the Dawn fan. If they go for knockoff turn one as I get up Stealth Rock, I get nothing out of the turn. Maybe I go for Spike in this one instead. I want to keep Braylon alive because if it's Choice Scarf, it's really good here. I'm going to Fire Blast just to break its... Just to break it sturdy. Took a lot. Hector took a lot, man. Ooh. Okay. So, I do a lot to them with Fire Blast there. Maybe they go for... Uh, if if they're defensive, they're Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Rabbit Spin, Ice Shard. So I'm just going to Fire Blast again. Why not? I can get a Brox later. This is a threat. Like, rocks on both sides are going to be annoying, but I can't do anything about it. What if they misclick Scizor if they switch? That'd be funny as hell, I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> That's like when the Galizapod switched out versus, uh, into Scizor. Oh, it is Ice Shard, nice. Okay, it does nothing. Get another Fire Blast off, awesome. Bring it down to almost the, uh, the next KO, which is great. And what I'm going to do is get, click Stealth Rock here, because I don't think... Maybe they think I can't do anything else. If I was them, I'd Rapid Spin personally, but... Because they Ice Shard the first time, I don't know. Maybe they just want to break a potential Sash, or at least lower me to Arcanine range. Which makes sense. Is that Arcanine? That is Arcanine. Okay. And it is Intimidate Arcanine. Which is fine. I get on my Stealth Rocker, and then I explode, and then I get the Retaliate boost, because we learned that's how that worked yesterday. So we explode here. Unless they're choice banned. Yeah, well, they didn't go for it, so. This isn't going to do that much. Unless they're offensive. Ooh, that looks offensive, bro. So retaliate hella kills them. They go for Flare Blitz. So now, uh, maybe they're not offensive. I don't know. I mean, that did a lot. Maybe they're just leftovers. But retaliate definitely picks up a KO now, so. So we're going to go for it. <laughs> That's it. Perugly time, baby. I like how last time it knocked out Infernape, and now it's potentially going to knock out Arcanine. Though they may just go Scizor. But yeah, Retaliate. 
This is 140 base power. Gone. That's cat dog right there. Even though I'm more of a dog person myself. Just because I have a dog. But, yep. Yeah. Gone. Just straight up gone. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. So, we get rid of a big threat there. Alex is oh, another big threat came out. I do have bullet. Now I do have scarf bullet seat to deal with this. Also, there's a potential that I was <sighs> potential that I have sucker punch. I cannot really switch, so I'm just gonna go for retaliate again. Oh my god, I get a very lucky dodge there. Extremely lucky, especially especially if they're life orb because this will kill them. It actually ends up bringing them down under sash, so they end up being uh, sash on that mod. All right, they land the next one. Perugly, dead. <laughs> dead. All right, so I go Brailloom now. I think the play is to click Force Palm. Because I'm Scarf, so I'll be... They might fear Moth Punch, but, I mean, I need to get rid of Alakazam, right? This is their fastest Pokemon. Now, again, they have that Honchkrow, which is very threatening. They have Honchkrow, which is very threatening. Scizor should be trapped by Magnezone, unless it's offensive. I think Donphan just dies to this, but... Yeah, they go Rose Raid. Which is a free, uh, a free Fortress, because I'm Overcoat. Maybe they go for Sludge Bomb and then try to go for Sleep Powder from there, but, again, it's a free Fortress. You don't have hidden power fire anymore. They go for spikes. Oh no no no, ladies and gentlemen, we will not be allowing spikes. We will not be allowing spikes. And I'm assuming they're gonna go Don Fan and Rapid Spin themselves, which is completely fine. But maybe they'll try and sleep powder. Had they not gone for spikes, had they gone for Sludge Bomb, I would have I would have Volt Switch here. But and yeah, they go for Sleep Powder. We are the Overcoat Fortress. We get rid of that. And now, and now I bring out, because they cannot touch me with any given attack, I double here to Latios. I double here to Latios. Actually, the better mid ground is to go Magnezone, because if they go Donphan, I can just flash cannon and knock him out, which I would go Donphan. Or they go Scizor, I can knock him out too. So, I think we go out into this Pokemon, we just click Flash Cannon. Hopefully they didn't see that they, hopefully they don't think they missed. Instead they saw Overcoat. Because, I, like I said, I would try and go, I would either go Scizor here, or I would go Dawn Fan. And there's Hector the Dawn Fan. Perfect. So this means that not only do they not have their hazards up, but I can outspeed them here and go for a Specs Flash Cannon. Now, the Life Orb Scissor is still a giant threat, but we're okay for right now. Actually, Fortress is looking incredible. Like, Fortress looks insane. But yeah, this is Spec Slash Cannon that comes out now. If that's Life Orb Scissor, it's going to take a 50%. All right, they give me that, which means I can Volt Switch safely too. Gone. Perfect. We keep our Stealth Rock off for Hodge Crow, which is a giant threat as well. If they go Scissor, I just click Flash Cannon again on it. Like I said, if it's offensive... Brick Break? I have to do that play. They bring out Rose Raid, which means I get a free Fortress just to click. Just to click Spikes. I definitely go Fortress. I want to get up them Spike. Because even Defensive Scissor doesn't like this. They can't, again, they can't Sleep Powder for me. And they go for Spike. I actually think I gyro ball first, just in case they go hard into Honchkrow, but also keeps this guy low. Again, Scizor could come out if it wants to. They do go Scizor. But yeah, we gyro ball just in case. I see leftovers of Scizor. Leftovers SD, I don't think it runs Brick Break. So I'm a Volt Switch. I'm a Volt Switch right now. 
They do go for Swords Dance. I, like I said, I don't think Leftover SD runs, bri uh, runs Brick Break, but I could be wrong. Uh, we'll find out right now. Fortress with the momentum, baby. Just coming in on everything. This is why we run Overcoat. Beautiful. The biggest threat to me is that Honchkrow, man. That Honchkrow is such a big threat. It is such a big threat, man. But luckily, he has the Brave Bird to do damage to most of my mons. And I just click Specs Thunderbolt. It's going to do a lot to Scizor. Again, if they're Leftovers Brick Break, you know what? You outplayed me. Or if they're Fast U-Turn as well, which is also scary. But nice. I had a feeling. Once you see Leftovers, you typically see Defensive. Ooh, that did so much damage. They go for U-Turn there. That does nothing. And then I should be able to uh, Psychic win with Latios. Because they're going to go Honchkrow next. They're going to go Honchkrow next. Oh, they go Rose Raid. Interesting. Hey, that's fine with me. They're really trying to win with that Honchkrow, man. They're really trying. Even if they go back up to Scizor, it's fine as well. Like, Fortress always just comes in and does not care. Now you go for Giga Drain. Isn't going to do much. I'm going to get up a spike. Instead of Rapid Spinning. Because they still can't knock me out with Bullet Punch from Scizor. I'm going to give a spike, like I said. They go Scizor, no big deal. I just want that spike up for later for Scizor because I can mock, I can mock punch it later, you know? There's Scizor again. Crazy thing is, Scizor is forced to roost here so that I can bring back out Magazine one more time. And also, Hotchkrow has to Brave Bird my... My, my bullet puncher, so we're feeling good. Also, this means that Scizor dies when it comes to entry. So if it goes for if it doesn't go for Roost here, if it goes for U-turn, then it'll die when it comes back in. I go for Volt Switch as well, always. They Roost. Yeah, nice. So this makes it so Scizor can't do anything. That's why you always pair that trusty Magnezone, man. Always have that trusty Magnezone on deck. Now, obviously, what my opponent's trying to do is they are trying to, uh, they're trying to bring out Honchkrow to go for Sucker Punch. If they're Life Orb, they will KO me. If not, we're good. So they, they should go for Bullet Punch here and then go for Sucker Punch after with Honchkrow. That's what I do. Oh, they didn't even bother getting Chip. Bro, you better be, you better be Life Orb. Oh, never mind. They got all the Chip they needed <laughs> because of the fact that Scizor lived. Right, that's fine though. I'm assuming they go Honchkrow now. I stay in, and then I go Fortress after. And do what Fortress has been doing, which is MVPing it up. Live every hit from Honchkrow, or force them to Brave Bird. This is also if Honchkrow's Moxie versus like any other ability. It should always be Moxie in my opinion, but yeah. You brought out the Crow, what you doing? That's it. I mean, I guess you could go Rose Raid, but yeah, Hunter could come in. This is why I wanted Rocks up. Keep this guy at bay. All right, I'm assuming they're Life War. I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. I'll give them a Moxie boost. They should go for a Night Slash or Sucker Punch. The Sucker Punch is safe. They get the nice little Moxie boost there. On sight. Moxie on sight. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. That's so cool. Uh, but I go out into my fortress now. We click Gyro Ball. And Fortress is MVPing it up, man. MVPing it up. Actually, do I Gyro Ball or do I, do I Volt Switch? Not Gyro Ball. I Gyro Ball. They Brave Bird, we're good. Because they take too much recall. And they go for... Like, let's say this kills me. Which it shouldn't. Yup. Told you. Now, that's the MVP, baby. If it did kill me, then I just mock punch them to win anyway. Look at four archers, bro. The goat. Honestly, dude. This is one of my this is one of the fun mods to bring my life on. This mod just be putting it in work. This mod just be putting it in work.
That's so sick. You know what? I can't even let it die. I can't even let Fortress die. Scissor dies. Sorry, buddy. This is why we got up our hazards. And that's because of Fortress. That's another kill for Fortress, technically. Well, that was Stealth Rock, right? So that was, uh, that's, that's as of. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean, man. Y'all know what I mean. These are some good nicknames. I'm just gonna Volt Switch here. If I die to, uh, to Giga Drain, that's fine. Then we can bring out Latios and win. Oh my god, Fortress, what a goat. Doesn't even die, and I'm not bringing it in, so it'll never die. Uh, definitely got lucky, though, dodging the Focus Blast from Alexander. Freaking Focus Blast at the end of the day, right? But I got hella lucky dodging that. Like, I had Bullet Seed to Revenge Kill it. But still, it would have made things harder. And Big Latios comes out and goes ahead and clicks that Spec Psychic. And Rose Ray goes down, and that'll be game. Yes, yeah, so like, I'm still thinking about the Wobbuffet Effect game. I know it never came out, and people be like, yo, that mod never came out. Why were you complaining? It's, it, first off, I wasn't complaining. I was telling, I was telling you through my thought process. It's like having a Dugtrio on the back, right? And I have a Heatran, and I know they have a Dugtrio. I can't play Heatran in a specific way, because whenever I do, then they will trap me with Dugtrio. It's the same way. Like my, If my Latios came out of that game, it got to kill every single time. I think Wobbuffet's a sick Pokemon. I really do. But in the metagame I play, it's banned, so I don't usually try to account for it. It's like when I got surprised by BP the other day. It was scary as hell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. There you go, two games. I, I didn't feel satisfied. I didn't feel satisfied with Perugly. But in this one, I was definitely satisfied with Perugly. Uh, as well as, I mean, Fortress has continued to MVP it up. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with a new team tomorrow. Peace.